What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another one of these videos. Today we're gonna to be hitting the gym. I think I'm doing chest today, uh, but as you can tell by the outside part of this video, it's pretty dark out. So what I did was I flipped my phone around and I believe this should be decent quality, but given that the lighting's pretty shoddy, uh, it's probably gonna be similar to that first workout video we did uh, at the hotel. So I apologize in advance, but it's kind of hard to get some good audio quality out of just my phone camera. And being that I just got back from vacation or I guess more like college, College visits uh, in Florida it was hard for me to go get my DSLR and record so here we are I just got off the plane drove home uh, and actually got back in the car and drove to the gym and now I'm at Lifetime Fitness it's 10 58 p.m. I'm gonna go hit chest pretty hard uh, but yeah Florida was great I recorded one workout out of like the three or four that I did I thought I was only gonna be there for four days I was actually there for six days uh, which was a little bit worse than I thought because I didn't log any macros uh, for six days any calories and I kind of ate whatever uh, really and it was it was pretty bad uh, so don't feel great about myself right now I just I feel like crap I ate a bunch of candy apples caramel apples uh, and those are always great and uh, Disney where I stopped also visited the University of Florida had a lot of fun with that I uh, had a fun Twitter battle with the uh, University of Florida doing a handstand on Bull Gator, uh, which is a lot of fun. If you guys haven't seen that and you don't follow me on Twitter, I recommend you do. It's at Conman Brady. Uh, on a different note, uh, you guys may be able to see behind me. I don't know if it's just in front of me, but crazy lightning storm uh, happening right now. I was getting a bunch of phone alerts for terrible weather about to happen. But once again, I needed to get a workout in tonight just because I haven't had a proper workout in about a week now. I've been gone. I left Thursday, had a good workout last Wednesday. So I guess it's even been a full week now because uh, last Wednesday was my last big workout and today's Wednesday. So that's it guys, that's kind of my pre-workout stuff. I'm gonna record parts of my workout. We'll see exactly what I record. I have a pre-planned chest burnout workout that I'm gonna be doing, but I'm not sure exactly what it looks like quite yet. So I think it's chest, it could be shoulders though. But like I said, we'll see when we get in the gym. I have it all on my app, so that's that. We'll see what the program says for today. So let's go ahead and hit that, and then we'll be back in, uh, in a little bit in the car. We'll talk at the end. Gotta finish up my BCAAs and uh, try out some new uh, Celia Core peanut butter marshmallow flavor so some crazy stuff today uh, for that got a bunch of new equipment as well I'm gonna be reviewing got a new jump rope new weight belt I uh, got some old gloves I'll be reviewing probably on the channel as well so a lot of stuff coming uh, but yeah I'm done rambling I need to go hit these these uh, this chest workout and uh, we'll be back in a bit with some uh, some voiceover footage of my workout so let's go ahead and hit the chest workout all right, so we're back with some more voiceover footage, and uh, this is a pretty fun workout that I had. Another chest workout, and you can see warming up with my colorful new jump rope, which I'm sure I'll do a review on when we get some downtime on the channel. But it was fun to jump rope like a little kid once again and uh, get my heart rate up, my blood flowing, and everything like that. And you guys are about to see uh, my shtick on the channel and learn about that, which is handstands, something I like to do and you don't really see on fitness channel. But I like to work on balance type stuff, and being that I wrestled for so long and did gymnastics my freshman year of high school, I like to work on balance stuff just to make sure uh, that I have that as well. So I don't just want to be specifically lifting or specifically distance running or specifically balance, but I like to have a good balance, I guess, so to speak, of everything. So uh, yeah, handstands are fun. I have an Instagram specifically for handstands that my sister and I do. Uh, we post handstands all over the world uh, while she's at college. She posts stuff as well. Uh, we have some stuff in Disney. I did some stuff on uh, some monuments at uh, University of Florida. On uh, Bull Gator was fun as well. Uh, the actual college retweeted that, uh, or the university retweeted that to all of their 70,000 followers. So that was fun as well. Uh, so yeah, a lot of different stuff all over the place with handstands and having fun with that. So if you guys do want to check out any of my social media, of course, that's in the description and you guys can check out more handstands. Then I'm on mailboxes too and just all kinds of craziness. So anyway, finished up my stretching and now I'm going to move on to some little weights on my little bit of benching that I do here. Uh, I actually do five sets here. And the, the main thing here is this is a chest workout. So as you guys saw in my weird chest workout, last week uh, I like to do barbell stuff rather than dumbbell stuff as you can see here barbell just I like the way it works I like being able to put weights on each side increasing and I like being able to lay down when I do physical stuff which is always nice uh, being able to relax and work out at the same time but anyway, doing some warm up reps there, 10 reps at 135 pounds, and then e increasing weight with each set for five total sets, working myself up to a heavy 135 pounds, or 185 pounds, I mean, not 135, but 185 pounds, which is a little bit less than my max at 200 pounds uh, for right now. So you guys may be saying, wow, that's a little bit of a lighter weight, Connor, what's up with that? Um, and really, I mean, I guess it's a good time to bring it up. Uh, a lot of my lifting stuff in the past, I've been lifting for about three years, if you guys have probably heard before on the channel, but 
um, I haven't really been as serious about lifting as I am now or about macros or about calories as I am now. But what a lot of that, what I did was losing weight for wrestling. So I'd have crazy cuts where we wouldn't be eating for three or four days. And I got down to 145 pounds, which was grossly thin, but it helped with wrestling. And that's what I needed to do at the time to do well in that sport. But for lifting, as you can see, this crazy grinder here at, uh, I think 175 pounds, um, I actually then threw on another uh, group of weight. I think I was 180 pounds because I think this was 185 pounds. And then I did one rep here instead of two. Uh, I was aiming for two reps, but only did one because uh, it was, you know, trying to be smart here. You can see I was like, uh, should I go for one more rep? And I decided against it because it was a little bit of a grinder and I was pretty burned out already. But anyway, what I was talking about before as far as lifting goes and wrestling, um, it's really not conducive to building muscle when you can't eat for two days or three days. And you can't really drink water on Thursdays and Fridays because you have weigh-ins Friday night. Uh, so a lot of that was great for wrestling and I did a good job with it with managing my weight and things like that. But it really is not conducive to building muscle. So for me, I've really only been seriously lifting for 10 or 12 weeks now, which has been great. And I've always known a lot about lifting and known a lot about macros for the last couple of years and done all of this stuff, but I haven't really built a lot of muscle for that reason. So I'm really defined and really muscular looking, but I can't really put up a lot of numbers in the gym. And I think a lot of that is just because of all the wrestling I've done. My body is more used to cutting weight and cutting muscle in order to have a low number on a scale in order to wrestle lighter guys. And I guess kind of breaking that down really easily. Uh, so yeah, my maxes and my PRs all add up to 750 pounds, uh, and a lot of my weakness comes from my squat being pretty low, which you guys will see tomorrow in that workout. And uh, my bench is actually pretty low as well, I think, with only 200 pounds. So that all being said, I only weigh 155 pounds. So I'm not expecting to be able to lift as much as the Hulk, but I thought it was worth pointing out. But the cool thing about it all is since I've been lifting for such a short amount of time, seriously, I'm able to always make gains in the gym every single time I go. And today's big gains for this workout was from this exercise you're seeing right here, this incline bench. I was able to go up to 145, 140 pounds, I think is what it was, uh, for three sets is what you're seeing at the end of this workout uh for my fifth set and you guys just got to see that or you're about to see it right here uh this was at my new uh i guess working set max because uh, i guess it's not my not my maximum weight that i could do and you can see here repping out three sets or three more reps of my fifth set and uh, it felt good to do 140 pounds when i typically get up to 135 and it like i said it's really cool to always make those gains every single time i go in the gym there's something i can do more of each time so whether it be i bench five pounds more the next next time i go in or maybe i do an extra pull up there's always something i'm improving on every time and that's the best part about being new in the gym is you get to make huge gains right away and then they slowly taper off and gains get harder and harder to achieve but it's fun right now especially for me being able to go into the gym every week and I'm sure next week during chest I'll be able to bench um 190 pounds is my working set or 195 and then the week after that get up to 200 and it's a lot of fun because like I said just always making massive gains in the gym and you can see here throwing in some pull-ups just to kind of switch off of chest so I don't burn out my chest too much here and then of course doing some flies as you guys saw in my last chest video I did flies and I really like doing flies and you can see here you're about to see a funny mistake where I actually clipped the weight on one of the uh the different clips on the side here I think it was this one maybe it's the next one somewhere in here and I look at the camera for a minute. I thought it was kind of funny because uh, what I was doing here was a little bit lazy. I didn't want to set up an actual bench. So I just jumped on the incline that I was using before. And I thought that was hilarious how I actually clipped that on the side there. So, uh, yep, amateur mistakes, always fun. But doing some flies here, I really like flies. And I'm not sure if it's because I figured out a weight that works really well for me or a rep range that feels well for me or feels good for me. Um, something about flies just really does well with my chest. I always get a really good burnout from it. And uh, my chest always feels good after doing flies. Also, you can see here, supersetting that with some overhead pulls or presses or whatever you'd like to call these. These always feel good on my chest too, for whatever reason. Uh, I guess they're not specific to chest. They kind of work your arms as well, um, but they do work chest for me as well. So I, I feel a little burnout there, but the main part of this superset is supposed to be the flies. And this kind of acts as a little bit of an add-on to those chest flies, and it works really well in that superset. So after that superset, I moved on to some barbell rows, and I almost said dumbbell again. I keep mixing up dumbbell and barbell in my head. But anyway, barbell rows here, uh, warming up with a worth uh, 65 pounds here and uh, doing only three sets of this. Uh, something I like to do really in the gym and something I've been kind of figuring out for myself is how many sets I like to do. So for me, I like to do my squats, my deadlifts, my 
bench press, my close grip bench, whatever my big focus of the workout at five sets, and then doing all my extra stuff, all my alternative stuff at three sets, and then doing whatever my maximum reps are or whatever my rep range that I feel good with for each set. So for here, you can see I only do three sets, but I do increase the weight each time and it felt good when I was doing these rows. But once again, this isn't why I'm in the gym. I'm not in the gym to do rows. So for me, it's more of a focus of, hey, I did a really good job with my bench. Now I want to finish this workout and continue to make good progress in the gym. And then here I finished it up with some T-bar rows and this worked out pretty well. First time really doing T-bar rows. Uh, it's something I haven't really focused too much on. And you can see here I dropped the weight a little bit down to 45, just the one plate instead, because I felt like the form in the first set wasn't too good. So I finished up here with some good form and uh, my arms were just destroyed and my chest was just destroyed by this point. So it felt good to just finish up the workout and then uh, rep out a few more T-bar rows, just three sets here. And uh, it worked out pretty well. So that's really it for this, guys. I'll go ahead and leave you with the footage at the end of the video. And uh, that's really it for the workout. Walking out of the gym, here is the ride, and of course, we have the post-workout hat, which we will be wearing in a minute here. I'm going to come around back, mix up my protein powder, and we'll talk about how the workout was in just a second here. But you can see the super hat up front. Alright, so a few things. Um, trying out the new, I guess it's not new, but it's new to me, uh, Celia Core. Uh, protein powder. I've never tried Cellular Course protein powder, but they had an awesome flavor, which was marshmallow uh, peanut butter. So I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try. I just shook it up. I haven't tried it yet, so let's try that out. All right, that is really good. It tastes like uh, it tastes like if you've had PB2 powdered peanut butter. Um, that and marshmallows that are toasted. I like that a lot. It's good. It's thick too. With um, gold standard uh, Optimum Nutrition, typically it's not as thick. Someone just got to the gym and it's midnight. 11:58. Someone pulling up for a workout. That's dedication, for sure. Anyway, yep, it's 11:58, 59 now, and uh, just wrapped up that workout. It's about 50 minutes uh, long. Got my post-workout hat on that I picked up in Orlando, uh, Florida, when I visited Disney World for a couple days. Uh, so I got this sick little hat from um, uh, from China and uh, Epcot, uh, where they have all the countries and stuff. I'm trying to think after working out, not going well. Um, so yeah, got the hat on. I hope you guys enjoyed the little commentary I did over the workout. I mean, post-workout wise, I'd say that workout was like a six and a half, seven out of 10, uh, if I'm giving myself a little bit of a grade there. Um, it was good, I got after it. Uh, a lot of my sets were kind of sloppy, uh, partly because I'm pretty tired. I got up early this morning, uh, hung out in Florida, and then caught a 7 p, 7.30 p.m. flight from Orlando, or from somewhere in Florida. Uh, I got back to O'Hare around 9.30 my time, central time, so it was a three hour flight, and then got home, came straight here after I'm by, or opening a few packages and stuff. So that was that workout. I had a lot of trouble with doing jump ropes in the beginning, uh, probably because I didn't haven't jump roped in a while, partly because every time I started the video, it would stop, and I wasn't sure why, and I think it's probably something with a motion sensor uh, when it thinks it's dark out. Um, there's some clumpies in here. I don't know how mixing, how well it does mixing. It seems like it mixes well, but there are a few clumps. I'm a fan though. I think it's good. It's totally different than, uh, it, it tastes more like muscle milk than protein powder based on protein powder being like Optimum Nutrition's, um, I'm not Optimum Nutrition. Is that even the right? Yeah, Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard Way, 100% Gold Standard Way, uh, whatever. Their chocolate, their mocha, I've tried them all. Those are pretty good too. Um, I'm not sure which one I'd go with if I chose again. I'd probably go with Cellular Core, but I'm a fan of a lot of their products. So I'll be doing a review on that, a review on my jump rope, a review on my weight belt, a review on my headphones, a bunch of stuff coming. A lot of content's lined up, which is awesome because uh, it is summer, so we can bust out a lot of this stuff while the channel's getting started. So anyway, I've been rambling quite a bit here. I'm gonna head home. It's 12.01. I'm probably gonna get pulled over on my way home because that's what happens. I have an irrational feel, fear of getting pulled over at night when it's late, uh, probably because th just this summer alone, I've been pulled over twice. Um, no, not gotten any tickets, just pulled over for random stuff. So uh, yeah. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and a favorite, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow, of course, with another workout. If you guys have any thoughts, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear uh, critiquing the form I had today. I didn't think it was very good form with a lot of the stuff, but 
like I said, excuses, excuses, probably because of all the flights and all that kind of stuff. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a thumbs up and a favorite. And of course, subscribe for more working out uh, handstands and all that kind of craziness that we do here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace. And here is the outro. Chumbang, 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 chumbang